Hi everybody, this one is going to be short, sweet, relatively to the point because if you can't tell, I I am tired. Uh, we're talking about games tonight and I should be playing the game that Katie is currently playing, which is cozied up, sleeping. That's my couch and that's the horrifying mess that is my, my coffee table in there. And I suppose while we're at it, I can show you the other wall, but which I wanted for my backdrop, but... I can't because of the lighting. But there's my books. It's wonderful, right? I'm sure someday when we're blogging about something that um, I either have nothing to say about or I'm just not feeling, I'll talk about books. And hopefully we have a book topic picked out, maybe. I hope. Um, I'm not much of a gamer. I'll go ahead and say that. Um, I did have a small phase of... Um, a little bit of those like early role-playing games just just a little they were like the crime ones where you could solve mysteries I remember I'd love a comment if you remember what I'm talking about but it was this girl the character like on the front of it was blonde I think but anyway like oh no the main character she was killed and you were trying to solve her murder she was the blonde and like you could you were kind of role-playing as the detective trying to solve her mystery, and there were autopsies and stuff. That was kind of fun. That was kind of awesome. That was back in the day. That was, like, back in the AOL days, and someday maybe I will disclose my my early interweb nerd secrets about working for Blackberry Creek. Also, I would love to hear about it in the comments if you know what Blackberry Creek was on AOL. Um, be still my heart. I would love that. Anyways, games. I love the word games. Scrabble, um, my Yahoo name for a little while, back when I did Yahoo, was actually Super Scrabble Shark. And I still, even like categories, which is, yeah, it's kind of vocabulary based, but really, I love Boggle. I love being able to just, I'm pretty good at looking at the combination of letters and Oh, that'll be hard to do in reverse. I don't think I'm that good. But I see gist and lisp and hat and sat and but anyway, there's a really fun um there's an iPhone app. And it's like called Word Nerds maybe? Oh no, Word yeah, Word Nerds. It's called for the iPhone app and there was a Facebook one for a while called Word Twist. And that was so awesome. It was really, really addictive to play. Um, but yeah, words have always been more of my thing. I'm not good at picking up card games. Um, I was just telling Katie that by the time I actually pick up the rules of a card game, I've completely lost interest in the actual game, or everybody around me has, because I spend the whole like first dozen rounds going, what? I don't Explain it to me. I don't know why. I have bad attention span when trying to learn a card game. But I always feel like the card games I learn or unnecessarily complicated. I mean, I can play solitaire and stuff, but when you're like, this game, that game, and how many drinking games involve cards? Like, a lot. So you can imagine what a shitty drinking game player I was in college and continue to be. Um, anything else? Well, I am... One thing I did say, like, an actual, like, recent game I do enjoy is Plants vs. Zombies. It's kind of awesome. Um... Brian has it on his computer. I don't find it anywhere near as impressive as I found it on the iPad. And that was really fun, just, like, poking at the suns and choosing your plants. And that was pretty neat. I was almost ready to walk out of the store with an iPad because of Plants vs. Zombies. You may judge. That's... I don't think I really have anything else to say about games tonight. The original plan was... There's this bar in Chicago called um, Guffrey's. And you can sit at these big tables and play board games and they have great beer and stuff and whatever old stock bar. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you can just uh, order takeout into the bar too. So it's really fun. You can sit and just play for hours. So I was like, we're going to go. We're going to play games and then I'm going to have footage and I'll vlog about it. And we went and we got Chinese food, BYOB Chinese food at that. So like... There's a major, like, beer Chinese belly going on right now. We're all, let's see. That's it. The Chinese food has claimed a victim. And I 
am next. But um, I don't even know what we're talking about tomorrow, so I'm excited to go check the Google Calendar and see. Um, Katie is still hearing through Monday morning, and I think there will be some awesome Green City Market and Zoo action tomorrow. And um, she's going to come to work with me and see the show that I work on. Well, maybe we'll get some feedback from her on that. I've only shoved a video camera in her face a couple times today, and most of it involved a look back, so... Hey. Hey, let's play Boggle. Boggle? 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 Can you play Boggle? <gasps> Tessie, Boggle? Boggle? No? No. Okay. Hey! If you want to play Boggle, you cannot eat the letters. <gasps> that is not okay. No, that's cheating. Cheating. <laughs> no. Aw. Now they're slippery and drooly. Hi. Will you pretend you're going to play Boggle with me? You play Boggle? He's going to play some Boggle. I have a Boggle partner. We're going to play some Boggle. So far, I have won two games out of two. Brian has won. Me, 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 me. I'm awesome. Of course, he wins, and there's video evidence of it. Unacceptable.